Hi again, everybody, and greetings from the Bearcats Team Hotel here in Sacramento, California. I'm Dan Horde alongside former Bearcat Terry Nelson. Tonight at 940 Cincinnati time, the Bearcats take on third-seeded UCLA. The winner moves on to Memphis for the Sweet 16 of the NCAA Tournament. Terry, I've been doing Bearcat games on the radio for 17 years now. I have never seen a team with more impressive offensive statistics than UCLA. They lead the nation in scoring. They lead the nation in field goal percentage. They lead the nation in assists. They lead the nation in assist to turnover ratio. We know the Bearcats are always good on defense. How do they slow down this UCLA team? And they're also second in the nation in NBA draft picks at 114. So this team is loaded. If we're playing spades and we're talking about NBA draft picks on this team, I'd say two and a possible three. I mean, they have, they're loaded. TJ Leaf is a pick and pop player. 16 points, eight rebounds. He's shooting 62% from the floor. I mean, you talk about a guy who likes to step out and shoot threes. We all know about the incredible Lonzo Ball, somebody who's 6'6", long and lanky, looks a little bit like Matt Barnes, uh, doesn't really have the big derriere you talked about earlier, but he's averaging seven and a half assists, leading the country in that category. But they're so talented around the perimeter. They get out and they run on made and miss. So you really can't celebrate when you get a dunk, when you hit a three. You know, Troy can't be pointing in the stands and looking like he's been in the past. They have to be locked in and focused because this team will run you out of the gym. They are exciting to watch. Typical West Coast team, if you're building a team and you're building a sports franchise on the West Coast, you would build it exactly the way UCLA has. Mick Cronin said that Lonzo Ball is the best passer in college basketball since Magic Johnson, which is a pretty telling statement. Let's flip it around. Cincinnati's not going to win this game 55-50. to That can't be done against UCLA. So what must the Bearcats do offensively to score enough points to win this game? They have to move the ball from left to right. They have to go inside, pass it back out, make this team work. They have to get into the mid-70s, high 70s, and then hold UCLA to the low 70s. It's going to be a close game. You're not going to expect to come in here and hold this team to 50 or 60 points because they, you will have these lows that they will have. They didn't go on a 20 to nothing spurt. So the Bearcats must continue to put pressure on them. Kyle Washington must stay out of foul trouble. Gary Clark must be a problem. He must be able to get the ball at the top of the key and create and put their bigs in, in situations where they have to slide their feet and not just be tall down there with their hands up blocking shots. Make the bigs play defense on the perimeter. And then Troy Copain and Kevin Johnson and all the guys that come off the bench must be effective in their roles. Whatever minutes they get, they have to maximize that moment. If Cincinnati has any advantage in this matchup, it's experience. Lonzo Ball is a freshman. T.J. Leaf is a freshman. Cincinnati is led by starting senior guards, and we know the importance of senior experience in the NCAA tournament. Yeah, and Cincinnati is mentally tough. They've taken the blows last year. They went through the heartaches. They went through the heartbreak. And now to see Troy Copain and Kevin Johnson and even Tobler to, at this culmination of their careers now, they are ready for the challenge. This team, Cincinnati, wants to be known as a, a tough team back on the map, reaching the Sweet, six, sweet 16 against a loaded UCLA team is something that we've been waiting for for a long time, and I believe that Troy and the game will be up for the challenge. All right, the Bearcats looking for their 31st win of the season tonight. That would tie the all-time school record. More importantly, they'd have a chance at win number 32 next week in Memphis. For Terry Nelson and our photographer, Megan Coffey, I'm Dan Horde. Remember, complete post-game coverage on GoBearcats.com.